Africa is a continent full of beauty. Its beauty can be seen through its places and its people. Welcome to the Amazing People of Africa series where we take a look at some of the indigenous people of Africa. We'll be looking at their lifestyle, culture, and getting to learn about life through their knowledge and experiences. Before we start, please take the time to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Lipsticks are the best beauty selling product in the world. There are about 800 to 900 million lipsticks sold annually throughout the world, with majority of them being bought in Europe. But did you know lipsticks were invented in Africa? The first record of lipstick use was in 4000 BC in Egypt and Mesopotamia. Then, lipsticks were used to protect the lips from the elements, and both men and women wore it. Back then, women would mix scented oils with flowers to add color and get the perfect lipstick. Other communities like the Fulani would have a more permanent solution. The Fulani women's symbol of beauty is black lips. They have a ceremony known as the Chudi where the mouth tattooing is performed. It is performed only by women and the tradition serves as a rite of passage, a sign to the world that a girl has now become a woman. The Fulani are an ethnic group in Mali and are one of the largest ethnic groups with numbers of more than 20 million spread across many countries in Africa, especially West Africa. The Fulani women are known to live simple lives, they are nomadic and very close-knit families. They travel with their male counterparts and the Fulani women are typically well-traveled and you can find them almost anywhere at any given time. They tend to travel long distances on foot and hardly have a particular destination in mind. Once a lady wishes to be married, the upper part of her mouth is then tattooed to show that she's been taken. This is done uh, during the ceremony and a hot needle and special natural ink is used to color the lips. White teeth are also treasured highly, so when a girl reaches the age of 15 years, they tattoo her gums, lips and chin to emphasize the white teeth. To them, it's not just a symbol of beauty, it's also a symbol of bravery. Fulani women love to look beautiful. They typically wear ornaments made out of hina, which is a handmade dye women make out of special plants. They take this paint and decorate their bodies with particular ornaments. Such decorations usually go on their arms, hands, and even legs. Some of the decorations have a deep meaning which root back in the history of the tribe, while others only aim to emphasize the lady's beauty. You see, for the Fulani, tattoos are considered an element that beautify the body, and aesthetic beauty is particularly important in their culture. Thank you for watching today's video. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts on mouth tattooing. Is it something you'd ever dare to do? If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit the notification bell. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure to watch our other videos which celebrate our Mama Africa. We have the Mysteries of Africa series and the Amazing People of Africa series. Until the next video, stay safe and I'll see you then. And remember, Africa is watching.